Coming up on Pixel.info, creating a 3D box in Flash CS4. What's up everybody, Ekin here bringing you a quick tutorial on Flash CS4. That's right, today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D box in Flash using the new 3D tools and features. Let's take a look. So let's jump right in and make a new document. Let's start by drawing out a simple square. You can hold down the shift key to constrain the proportions. Now let's change the solid fill to a gradient by going to the color palette and changing it to a linear gradient. Next, let's remove the stroke. So just go to the stroke picker and choose the none option. Now let's make sure our square is in the center of the stage. And we can do that by going to the align panel and clicking on the horizontal and vertical align buttons. Okay, so next let's convert this shape into a movie clip. So just right click and select convert to symbol. All right, now let's nest this symbol inside of another movie clip. And let's name this one 3D box. So inside of 3D box movie clip, this is where we'll be setting up our 3D layers. Alright, so now we can just copy and paste a few of these squares on some new layers. And let's name each copy after a side of the 3D box, such as top, bottom, left, and right. Now let's convert all these frames into motion tweens by selecting them, right clicking, and selecting create motion tween. Now let's start with the top layer, so let's rotate the x-axis to 90 degrees. So you can hold down the shift key to constrain your rotation, and you can go inside the motion editor. So we'll want to move this top layer up about halfway, so just calculate half of the height of the square and move it up so it sits on top. Now we can just repeat the process for the bottom layer. But this time we'll want to do halfway down and just change the value. Alright, so next we'll start on the left and right parts of the square. We can start on the left one and uh, let's rotate this one on the Y axis about 90 degrees. So we can shift it over to the left about half of the width of the square. Again, we can go inside the motion editor to check our values. All right, now we can repeat the same process for the right side, but don't forget this time we're gonna move it to the right side instead of the left. And so once we're finished rotating and positioning, you should be left with a picture frame looking set of rectangles. And so let's just jump out of the movie clip and go to scene one. So if you select your 3D rotation tool and rotate the box on its Y axis, looks pretty sweet, right? All right, so before we can start animating it, spinning all around and going crazy, let's add a drop shadow to the bottom to make the effect a little bit more realistic. So to do this, let's go back inside of the 3D box movie clip and what the hell happened here? Well, here's where you Flash CS4 gurus can explain this because I really don't know. Uh, but what I do know is that it hasn't affected any of our values or properties. It's weird, I know, but at least we can still work on it. So back on track, let's select our bottom layer and go to the filter section. And let's pick a drop shadow. Next, let's change the blur X and Y values to something big like 100 pixels. And let's change it to a high quality and distance to zero. All right, so, okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's jump out of our movie clip into the main timeline and let's add a few new frames. And I'll be using the motion editor to animate the box spinning on its y-axis now we can scroll over to the last frame go to the motion editor and if we want to just rotate the box spinning from left to right you can simply change the rotation y value to 360 degrees all right now let's preview the animation all right looks pretty good and uh, there you have it that's how you create a 3d object inside of flash using the new 3D tools. So take a moment to create your own, download mine, and take a look at how I made it. And that's pretty much all the time we got for today, so we'll see you next time.